Let us now move to the thirtieth and the last shloka of Saundarya Lahari for today, which is Devi Bhavana. So Bhavana is to visualize or imagine or feel. That is Bhavana. Devi Bhavana is to feel and visualize oneself to be the divine, divine feminine. This is done in a very very beautiful process called Kala Vahana Puja, and there are many other rituals. Uh, especially in powerful Shakti Peet has like Kamakya and Devi Puram offers these kind of rituals where one Devi, the goddess, is invoked into one's own self. There is no longer any distinction between male and female um, sadhakas anymore. Everybody, all human beings, is seen as aspects of Devi and, and her incarnations, her manifestations. So that form where a sadhaka, male, female, irrespective of whoever, what physical gender they are, identifies themselves with uh, the goddess. We looked at this in this very beautiful shloka, which is my favorite, uh, Bhavani Tvam Dase Mai Vitara. A similar context as that, where a sadhaka feels or visualizes oneself to be the goddess herself. The prayoga of, of this shloka gives a siddhi of all the ashta siddhis, the anima, garima, laghima, mahima, ishitva, vashitva, prakami. There are uh, many or many many siddhis, the eight important of them are the Ashta Siddhis and Agni Stambhanam and there are other you know uh, smaller yogic uh, practices or powers that one can attain so that is the Siddhi of the Sadhana of the Shloka which needs to be done facing east for 45 days for a number of times 2500 uh, repetitions each day offering an Ivedyam of Madhu, honey Madhura, which is a mixture of these three sweets and Tambulam, which is the bitter leaf and very unique uh, yantra for this shloka which is depicted here. If any of you want to take this up as sadhana, you can but I am just presenting this so that uh, you guys know there is the, always this uh, reminder at the back of our minds that these shlokas, while they have beautiful meanings and, and imagery, they are all very powerful tools of sadhana, so we can definitely chant them individually. There is always this question, can I chant just one shloka from Sandhya Lahiri? Absolutely you can. And this is a stotram, so no need for initiations or any such. But if you want to do this kind of sadhana and prayoga, you can take it up. You read the whole shloka ones and she will definitely guide you on your pursuits. Let's go to the pronunciations of the words of the shloka. The first line itself is one big compound word svadeho dbhuta bhir ghrani bhi rani madhya bhi rabhito the word split is svadeha udbhuta bhi ghrani bhi rani madhya bhi abhita the whole word becomes svadeho dbhuta bhir ghrani bhi rani madhya bhi rabhito please make sure that you are uttering the Mahapranas, the Bha, Gha, and uh, what else, Bha here, all of those are uttered with as Mahaprana sounds with a lot of air. The next word is Nishevye, Nitye, Tvam, Aham, Iti, Sada, Bhavayati, Yah, Kimascharyam, Kim Ascharyam becomes Kimascharyam Tasya Trinayana Samradhim Trinayana Samradhim Trunayato This is one word Trunayato The next word Maha Samvarta Agnir Virachayati Maha Samvarta Agni Virachayati Nirajana Vidhim Let's do it line by line. Svadehod bhuta bhir ghrani bhir anima dya bhir abhito. This, uh, this one line is a little tough, uh, Gayatri ji. So please, you can repeat this. You can, you know, go back once the video is published and uh, do this a couple of times. Let's do it one more time for you. Svadehod bhuta bhir ghrani bhir anima dya bhir abhito. Nishevye, Nitye, Tvam, oh we are doing it line by line, 
निषेव्ये नित्ये त्वामहमिति सदा भावयति यह किमाश्चर्यम तस्य त्रिनयन समृद्धिं तृणयतो महासंवर्ताग्निर्विरचयति नीराजन विधिम रियली ब्यूटिफुल श्लोक लेट्स लुक एट हाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग्स ऑफ दिस ओ बिफोर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू द चैंट द ट्यूनफुल चैंट आल्सो स्वदेहोदूताभिर्घृणिभिमाद्याभिषेव्ये निवामी सदा भावयति यश्चर्य तस्नयन समृद्धि तृणय तो महासंवर्ताग्निर्विरचयति नीराजन विधिन टू एक्सप्लेन द वर्ड्स ऑफ द श्लोक राइट सो नीराजन आई हैड टू लुक अप अ ट्रांसलेशन हाउ डू वी ट्रांसलेट नीराजन इन टू एनी अदर लैंग्वेज इट्स इम्पॉसिबल सो आई जस्ट रोट नीराजन इज ऑफर टू सच अ पर्सन the word itself as i was doing some research into what the word how the how nirajana is what it means it has multiple layers of meaning um it has got something to do with water also not just fire that is offered so to in, in for the sake of anybody who um uh, is not from the indian context nirajana is taking a lamp which again the ingredients that goes basically fire not necessarily lamp it can be coal fire it can be um the many there are you know uh, dried tamarinds or chilies red chilies or coconut shells there are many many uh, ingredients for that fire but basically what is done is a fire is taken and this is a this is an not an offering exactly but a ritual which lights up that is the idea so the of the purpose of nirajana <laughs> the purpose of nirajana is to activate or light up something we will will come to that word when we come there but as you see the there are two key ideas that are being conveyed in this shloka yah sada bhavayati tasya nirajana vidhim virachayati यह सदा भावयति मीन्स द वन हु ऑलवेज फील्स और और विजुअलाइजेस और यू नो थिंक्स भावना द वन हु डज दैट भावना अगैन भावना इज द बेस्ट वर्ड फॉर इट थिंकिंग फीलिंग विजुअलाइजिंग ऑल ऑफ दैट डू नॉट कम क्लोज टू इवेंट डिपेक्ट द मीनिंग ऑफ वॉट भावना इज द वन हु जस्ट आइडेंटिफाइज एम वन हु हैज यू नो बिकम द divine feminine yah sada always the one who always feels tvam aham iti aham means i tvam is to you or it's a dvitiya vachana tujhe or ninnu that is unnai that is the equivalent word um the to you is not in the context of for giving something to you but the one who feels you is me for such a person yah sada bhavayati tvam aham iti to who who is she is now he is now addressing her nitye o eternal one who is beyond uh, dk o nitya is the word for her addressing her is he nitye o eternal one abhitah nishevye nishevana is establishing and abhitah is around who is established who is situated around her abhitah nishevye grini bhih abhitah nishevye grini is a ray of light where is that ray of light coming from swadeha udbhuta bhih grini bhih those rays of light are coming from or being born udbhuta from her own body swadeha swadeha udbhuta bhih grini bhih abhitah nishevye she is surrounded by those rays of light coming out of her body 
वॉट आर दोज रेज ऑफ लाइट अणिमा द्या दे आर दी सिद्धीज ऑफ अणिमा अँड अदर पावर्स अष्ट सिद्धीज सो ओ गॉडेस ओ एटर्नल गॉडेस हु इज सराउंडेड बाय दीज रेज ऑफ लाइट विच आर दीज पावर्स ऑफ क्रिएशन लाईक अणिमा महिमा गरिमा दीज आर फॉर एक्झाम्पल अगेन फॉर दोज हू डू नॉट नो वॉट दी सिद्धीज आर ऑफ हॅव नॉट हर्ड ऑफ दीज बिफोर दे आर powers that correspond to complete control over the physical body which is whatever physical attributes we have of our shape size weight temperature movement all these physical attributes complete control over all of them so we can shrink or or uh, enlarge we can uh, bec- become feather light or as as huge as a mountain so complete absolute control over every single physical attribute we can move from one place to the other there are all these pertain each one of these ashta siddhis are different kinds of control over each one each physical attribute that we have so those powers are being referred to as rays of light that are coming out of her body surrounding her and who are uh, and for someone who always feels sada bhavayati that that such a person is the goddess herself that they are she tasya to such a person nirajana vidhim virachayati something offers this nirajana something offers this um tribute nirajana can also be thought of as tribute or something in honor of but as i said it is something to activate something to uh, light up what offers that uh, nirajana vidhi महा संवर्त अग्नि द अग्नि और फायर दॅट द ग्रेट महा अग्नि द ह्यूज फायर ऑफ संवर्त संवर्त इज दॅट फायर ऑफ डिस्ट्रक्शन ॲट दॅट ग्रेट फायर दॅट बर्न्स डाऊन ऑल फिजिकल क्रिएशन इवन दॅट फायर ॲट द एंड ऑफ क्रिएशन जस्ट बिकम्स वन फायर ऑफ नीराजन लाईक ॲज अ सेईंग स्मॉल फायर्स ऑफ either red chilies or coconut or or camphor these kinds of this small light in one's in the palm of one's hand even the fire of destruction just offers that nirajan to such a person who thinks of her oneself as the goddess herself other attributes that describe that person tasya is trinayana sam samriddhim trinayata such a person who is thinking of oneself as the goddess herself is trana is thinking of three nayana samriddhi samriddhi is uh, treasure or wealth wealth of what three nayana samriddhi three nayana is the third eye three is third nayana is the eye three nayana samriddhi is the wealth of the third eye which is the treasure of realization which is that perception that keen perception such a person who has thought of oneself as the goddess thinks of such valuable treasure of looking at everything with that dispassionate glance of a realized being as trana which is grass which is which is uh, how do i put it it's just he has devalued something which is so valuable also that is of immense value which is looking at everything with that dispassion because goddess is not dispassion shiva is dispassion once one identifies with the goddess they are full of that liveliness and and ritual and and very strongly involved in the worldly activities giving up giving up giving up <laughs> so they have uh, abandoned uh, dispassion so even the trina trinayana samriddhi the ultimate wealth of realization somebody has thought of it as just uh trinaprayah uh, or or as a uh, uh, common place as uh, not worthy of pursuit and as common as grass trinayana samriddhim trinayata hatasya to such a person who has abandoned even uh, the uh, great treasure of realization as common grass that great fire that happens at the end of creation which destroys everything even such huge fire becomes a small lamp or a light that offers nirajana to such a person 
किम आश्चर्यम आश्चर्यम इज वंडरफुल मार्वलस दैट दैट ग्रेट मार्वल और वंडर आह चर्य द लिटरल वर्ड इज चर्या इज एन एक्शन विच गिवज इज दैट साउंड आह दैट इज आश्चर्यम किम आश्चर्यम ओ हव मार्वलस दैट दिस हैपन्स दैट फेनोमिना हैपन्स इज द थीम ऑफ द श्लोक आई होप द मीनिंग इज कन्वेड is there any uh, is it clear guys just for my satisfaction oh nicely explained thank you so much manisha ji uh, okay that means the meaning is conveyed through but as i keep saying guys this level of very layered complex portrayal of words it's it's beautiful and it it makes much more um it brings much more joy when all of this is understood during the chant itself rather than me breaking it down and pe- piece by piece for example uh, b- now that you understand the words of this shloka see if you can uh, as i chant this shloka you, you can uh, recall those meanings and and you know relish them as the chant goes on sva deho bhuta bhir ghrani bhir anima dya bhir abhito nishevye nitye tvam aham iti sada bhavayati yah किम आश्चर्य तस्य त्रिनयन समृद्धि तृणयत महासंवर्ताचयति नीराजन विधि सो इफ दैट फ्लो हैपन एज द पोएटिक फ्लो हैपन इफ द मीनिंग इज ऑल्सो रिलिस्ड इट मेक्स सो मच मोर इट ब्रिंग सो मच मोर जॉय आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू वेर एबल टू गेट टुवर्ड्स दैट रसोत्पत्ति टू सम एक्सटेंट